giant, giant, giant burgers. The biggest burger, actually. Guys, today we are about to attempt the biggest burger in Canada. Yes, that is correct. So this is called the CN Tower, which I believe is also the current tallest building in Canada. So this burger not only has literally so many beef patties on it, like I don't even, I'm gonna get you the exact details. I think it's like 10 pounds of beef. There are a whole bunch of chicken strips. There are many sauces. There's a whole bunch of beef bacon, countless cheeses, countless buns. It is stacked so tall, apparently, with the actual burger. Plus, there's these big skewers sticking out of it. Apparently, it's like five feet tall. There is a big, I think it's called a tornado potato, like a French fry. There are jalapeno poppers. There are deep fried macaroni and cheese bites. Guys, this is absolutely insane. So I don't know too much else about the CN Tower Burger, but we'll get you the exact details here momentarily. So we will have 60 minutes to get the meal for free. I don't even wanna know the cost of this burger. I can only imagine, like this thing is giant. We're off to a place called Burger Factory. There's a whole bunch of locations around uh, we are going to one in Mississauga today. So Mississauga in the greater Toronto area. But yeah, guys, I don't know too much else besides this place is supposed to serve some good burgers. You can get pretty much anything you want. They call it a burger factory for a reason. And this is gonna be a giant challenge. Like literally, I this could be the biggest burger I've ever tried to eat. It very well actually might be. Scary. So with that, let's head on in, let's have fun, let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, so we're here with the CN Tower Burger, and let's just say this thing is it's too big. I literally cannot fit it in the frame, and like, it is just so insane. Guys, so we have, I think it's like 18 beef patties. We have, I think maybe 12 chicken patties. We have mac and cheese bites, onion rings, vegetables. We have a load of their beef bacon. We have just like so many buns. We have grilled cheeses buns. I have literally like a whole, uh, I'll take it off right now. We got a whole stick of chicken tenders, chicken fingers here. I got a whole stick of jalapeno poppers here. I have a whole torpedo potato thing going here, which is absolutely insane. So here's the fry action, guys. Look at this, this is absolutely nuts. I'm gonna take these and probably put them right and I'm gonna throw them right here for right now. There's, like I said, there's this thing is just so big, it's hard to navigate. That being said, guys, I also got a huge bottle of ketchup. You know, I'm all about that ketchup light. I'm just gonna make a big pile of it right here, right now, because we're definitely gonna be getting into that. Also, there's all their sauces on here, including their factory sauce, their uh, chipotle sauce, ketchup, mustard, and this is their uh, factory sauce, the signature um, aioli they make here. They said it is the best thing ever, so I'm looking forward to trying that. But that, guys, like we said, 60 minutes, I think I'm going to probably die, but Canada's biggest burger, let's get a rockin' and a roll. This thing is about, with, the, with those things, this thing is like four feet tall, so it's very, very large. So, like, I'm on a big stool to even just try to, like, sit next to this thing, so. And that, let's get started here just momentarily. They said I can dismantle it before I actually start. The time will officially start when I take my first bite. So I'm gonna take off this grilled cheese on top. Definitely this tray is gonna be our friend. Like I said, this is just, and it's on a big stand. There's like, I don't know if you can tell, it's on a big stand, so. Got some delicious looking beef patties here covered in sauce, all the bacon. They do grind their beef in house every day, which is awesome. Chicken, chicken fingers are actually legit, just like chicken breast season. They look awesome. So here you go, guys. Delicious. I'm a little nervous. I do have a stack of napkins. They hook me up. So how about we get started? Let's say at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Something about delicious burgers and beef, guys. And that bacon. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at the Burger Factory. Yes, the Burger Factory taking on the CN Tower Burger, which is Toronto's biggest burger, Canada's biggest burger. This thing is insane. At least the tallest burger in Canada I have definitely ever seen. So this thing had literal just pounds and pounds of beef, pounds and pounds of chicken. That aioli is really good. That factory sauce. You know what I love? So I can actually taste the beef, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like they're masking it. It's delicious. So we had 60 minutes to complete this burger, and I knew we would definitely need it. This was an absolutely intense burger, intense challenge. Plus, it had the skewer of the chicken strips, jalapeno poppers, the french fry on top, the tornado potato. Is that the... Is this the normal chicken? It's awesome. Really, really nice flavor. The seasonings on that? Mm. Wow. That was, I can give it like, really, that, uh, that chicken. Very, very good. Got some veggies. And the grilled cheese. Woo. Nice and steamy, guys. I'm gonna pull this off. I mean, this is a. It's a big burger navigate. It's a sirloin beef they're using. Absolutely insane. Anyway, so really cool spot actually. So this is my first time being a burger factory. There are a number of locations being everywhere from like across Canada to New Jersey, etc. Which I like just thought the name Burger Factory was, you know, just like a name, but it really is like a burger factory. The whole gist of it is you come on in, you pick what you want, and they customize, make the burger as per your order. So you're like, hey, I want this base, like this, I want this patty or this number of patties with this topping etc etc so that was pretty cool i actually really liked the concept of it and uh, it's quality food i definitely really liked it now while i was trying to get the burger for free the actual value of this burger was like i think over a hundred dollars or about a hundred bucks so it definitely had a crazy price tag not only though i will say like did they have a nice seasoning on their burger it's like a smash patty they're really one of the kind of first places to do that smash burger this thing is huge though like i knew it was big but it's way bigger than i anticipated but i also really really liked the chicken I don't know what it like. It was just the mix of the seasonings, the flavors. The chicken was fantastic. It just tasted so delicious. I really liked it. The nice thing about the chicken too is it was just like a real chicken breast. It's not like no processed anything. Try some factory sauce. It really is just chicken breast with so a hand batter there, which I always, always really like. They had a variety of different sauces, like the factory sauce, which were very good. Um, I'll kind of speak more about the food throughout. So I believe that's the majority of the information. Like I said, locations all around the Toronto area, locations, really there's just a number of locations. So if you're interested, definitely check out the website and uh, I'd recommend it. It was definitely a good burger. Don't try to eat one this big, but definitely try a burger there. So with that, let's tune on in. Let's have some fun. Hopefully we can actually complete this challenge. This thing was so tall, like really could barely fit in the frame. And like I said, I'd take those like two foot skewer things off the top to even make it work let's just say this was a huge challenge i knew we were going to be in for a ride if we could even complete it these are the mac and cheese bites and i think we're five minutes in right now give one of these a try i can see the noodles in it actually that's really good like craft dinner macaroni and cheese put those here for now try to get all this meat done but these chicken strips i love that chicken 
and I knew if we would complete it, it was going to be a really, really close finish. So with that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you are, please remember to hit that like button, comment, consider subscribing as well. It's greatly appreciated. It does also help the channel. Even just commenting something like hello down below. But I would love to know, why wow, that kind of rhymed, uh, if you like cheese on your burger. Let me know down below. Give me a hashtag cheese. Man, that, that factory sauce on that burger, look at it, like, ooh, that just, it slaps, so they said. We're about seven minutes in. Very delicious. Onion ring action. All right. The craziest thing is, as I'm getting down there with all the weight, this is getting more and more and more burger. Because it was all compressed. Woo! No shortage of food, that's for sure. I don't know how much we've eaten. But I don't think we're halfway through it. Because this is all so dense, all so heavy. I move this down just like. Well done. Maybe. There we go. Let's keep on going. Every time that chicken. Go, go. I called something funny, but we're about 11 minutes in. Woo. Everybody. We're getting our protein in, that's for sure. Protein for the week. Hi, everybody. This is where it gets serious. But beefy. Let's re up on this ketchup. Woo. Many tomatoes were harmed in the making of this video. All right, 14 minutes in, burgers and chill. The CN Tower burger is massive. Fun fact, the CN Tower used to be the tallest building on Earth. Toronto icon. Switching over that Diet Pepsi. I do like a Diet Pepsi. Let me know if you prefer Coke or Pepsi down below. I'm Team Pepsi. Although, Coke Zero. And that new formula, pretty damn good. And the flavored ones. This is three patties. So actually, I think there is 19 patties on this burger. Woo, man. That's a freaking pound of beef right in my hand. Oh my gosh. Which fun fact, they actually have a burger on the menu. Which is a full pound of beef. Awesome and nuts. Woo! Man! Oh. Excuse me. Woo. That's what I need right there, guys. Compliments to the chef. He's here watching. No one's been able to do this before, so they're pretty excited for me to try. Woo.
Okay. Come on, 18 and a half minutes. Catch up round three. Oh my gosh. Come by and get yourself a burger, but you don't need one this big. Woo. I do this so you don't have to. Man, this is so, like, I think it's getting bigger as I get to the bottom. Holy crap. Slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. Woo! This thing is massive. We still got all those skewers and things after. Oh! We know sounds really good right now. They have milkshakes. Woo! Don't get me wrong. This is delicious. But it's a lot of burger. It's a lot of savory. A little bit of something sweet, creamy. Afterwards. Afterwards. <laughs> if I'm not dead by the time I get there. They also have funnel cakes here, which is pretty cool. Do you love that fried dough? Like I said, guys, maybe after, if I feel up to it. Oh man, this is a juicy bottom bit. Chicken, beef, just so squished, so compressed up in that biz nizzle. And this was a grilled cheese. Excuse me. Whew. What this is now, I do not know. Oh, thank you. You're good. You're good. All right, guys. Let's get a rock and roll. Move that over a little bit. There we go. All right. I'd say we see the end, but I don't see the end because we still got all those skewers down there. So here we go, guys. Uh, about 23, coming up 23 and a half minutes. Ago. I think I got sauce in my nose. I can't say that'd be the first time. Woo! Smells good at least. The fun, you know that chicken? This sounds kind of funny, but kind of reminds me of like KFC chicken, but it has all the positive aspects that you like about KFC and none of the negatives. It's like not greasy or anything. Huh. Oh. Beef. in I have the bottom grilled cheese top grilled cheese that's the difference of them <laughs> and then two mac and cheese bites I'm gonna eat now and then the three torpedoes Whew. it actually is a good mac and cheese bite I already get it 
little bit different flavor is pretty nice right now. All right. I can say, guys, we're rocking that eat, 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 repeat shirt today. It's definitely what we've been doing, that's for sure. JoeLeaf.com. Please take the meal. This tray is officially empty. I'll bring these up now. Oh boy. Holy crap, everybody. Food doesn't end. Look at these things. Massive. And I think they're like, oh, it's a torpedo potato potato, but it's a tornado potato. There we are. Oh boy, guys. And last grilled cheese. 33 minutes. Please take the meal. I still still feel like a sauce one. Alright guys. Oh. You don't need to. The fact that you can do this is amazing. Three, two, four, three, like I said, you can order the burger however you want, but it's what they call Burger Factory. Okay, here we go. We've got some uh, jalapeno poppers. Uh. Three, two, five, please take the meal. Actually, a little bit of that, like, jalapenoism. Three, two, eight, please take Not bad time. right now. Not bad. Woo. Still rich, but... All right, we better wake up, everybody. Get these going. All these chicken strips. I'm not sad that we have them, though. That chicken's bomb. And this potato. It looks like a spiralized potato. It's like a French wrap. And they actually hand cut the fries every day here. It's pretty dang cool. About 38 and a half minutes in the burgers and chill, guys. Whew. I'm dying. No shortage of food. It's been a long time since I tried to challenge this big. This one's kicking my butt. <laughs> but I see the light. Now I can say I see the end. Four chicken strips. And a potato. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get some air out of me. Feels a little better. Not gonna lie, that's actually a really good potato. Just a little bit of salt. Woo.
everybody. Three pieces of potato. Ugh. Get through it. everybody. Last bite. Oh my gosh. Woo. Huge. So much food there. There we go. And we are done. <coughs> 46 minutes right at the dot. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Oh my god. Huge. Like, so and this is the thing. The way I have to have this camera like back and angled up like this, it like it does not make it look accurate to actual size. This thing was so big, so heavy, especially when I get like started getting down to the bottom. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, just, I don't even know. That was massive. That was massive. I will say, though, it was very delicious. My first time in Burger Factory. Won't be my last. I know they said they have, what, 27 locations? Ontario, Quebec, New Jersey, anywhere else? And they're going to Chicago. There you go, you Illinois folk. Oh my gosh, they uh, actually, speaking of Illinois, the Midwest, they actually have Juicy Lucy's here. That's a thing very big out there, so kind of a cool thing if you ever want to try. That is a burger patty, which is stuffed with cheese. Something like, you know, break it open, cheese pours out. Oh man, I gotta say, I am absolutely dying. I was not expecting that to be that hard, but then like I said, I was not expecting this to be as big. I mean, Philly, except I think it was literally four feet tall or whatever. Oh, look at that. Thank you everybody here, guys. Stab and super accommodating, super friendly. We do get the meal for free, which is pretty dang cool. That is a heck of a burger. Like I said, you can make a burger however you want it, but don't make one that big unless you're splitting it with like 20 people because no one gets to eat that much. But they do have a double, they do have a triple burger. Triple squat compressor? That is a full pound of beef on it as well. So, I mean, you can even just try that one. Maybe add an extra patty or if you're really hungry, but woo! Crazy guys. Oh, shout out that chicken though. That chicken is straight fire. Love the seasoning on that. But uh, yeah, guys, I have no complaints. Their sauce is really good as well. The factory sauce definitely hits it with like a little bit of that beef, a little bit of cheese. It all goes well, so, so well together. But that's it. I got nothing else to say. I'm very full. Definitely no short food. I think I got sauce up in my sinuses or food in my sinuses somehow. But uh, that's about it, guys. Definitely check out a Burger Factory. I really enjoyed it. The fact that they actually grind the meat here, I gotta watch them do that. They gotta hand bread the chicken, you know, like press the fries. It's kind of nuts. Like in this day and age, it's hard to find a place which actually, you know, is all about fresh, natural food. So shout out to them. Keep it that way. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna come back and enjoy a burger more leisurely in the future, future endeavor. I've had enough burgers for now, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try a milkshake just to sit. Maybe a funnel cake, I do love fried dough, but uh, that was a lot of food, so. At that, everybody, you want to stick around and watch that? If not, of course, till next time, stay happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. I have no words. No words are needed. That was difficult. 40 some minutes, guys, so. Till next time, thank you guys, and have a lovely day. So I got a uh, Oreo milkshake. However, I asked you to shift it up a little bit. I asked him to put caramel in it. Cause that sounds really good. And they are making the funnel cake. Although, I think they're up to some trickery. Because that is what they're making. Looks giant. But uh, I also went with uh, chocolate and Oreo, whatever, on the funnel cake. They have a whole bunch of flavors. But, oh, I'm good on burgers for a while. Let's try this milkshake out.
Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, that is so good right now. That caramel they put in there? Oh my gosh. Caramel Oreo. Boy bien. Oh my god. Okay. Now I knew they were up to some trickery. Alright, this is no normal size funnel cake. Jeez Louise guys. We got a pile of ice cream. Oreos. Chocolate sauce and deep fried dough. I'm gonna try a bite. I, I ain't this whole thing. Do you, do you guys have cutlery? Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta say, Caramel Oreo was awesome. This looks great, but uh, this is huge. They do everything really big here, I can tell, so. Ooh. Thanks, my friend. All right. I do love funnel cake. I do love fried dough, guys. How does that smell? It smells very good. You can smell, smell that warm dough. It's about fried dough, guys. All right. Get a bite here. Get some ice cream. Oreo. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Sweet. Savory. This is huge, man. This is thick. I'm about to die. This has been a great experience. I taste you one. But so much food. So, so, so much food. Woo. I better stop while I'm ahead. But, like I said, thank you again, everybody here. This is crazy. Yeah, these, these guys, they, I don't know who comes up with the, these crazy ideas for these big items, but. I mean, you guys don't appreciate how big this is. Look how giant this freaking funnel cake is right here. What do you think this is like? Six and normal? Yeah, it's about six funnel cake altogether. That is crazy. And it's like, Inch and a half, two inches thick. Jeez Louise. All right, everybody. I'm about to die, so until next time. Happy. Uh, yeah. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.